Hello and welcome to Hockey Time on Memory the Video Productions on the On the wing, centering pass, backhand score! Go in, scoot it with it, slides it across for Kane, and it's in the net! And they'll have a power play goal! The other point, big shot, right on, and the throw to the Neil having words with Campbell, and now Mario steps in there, and now all chaos breaks the center right, where is Bob by his teammates from Leverkusen? Welcome to Hockey Night at Pisa, brought to you by Memory to Video Productions and sponsored by JD's Pizzeria Bar and Grill of Southington. They make great pizza and they have the largest television in the Southington area. Tonight we bring you a D1 roller hockey game between the first place allies and the fourth place dragons. These two teams met on September 20th to kick off the fall season, and it was a 9-8 victory for the Allies. The Dragons started off 4 to nothing lead, but they couldn't hold on as the Allies went on to win the game by one. And don't be surprised if this game is just as close. The Dragons, coming into this with a 1-2 and two record, have played three games, and all of them have been decided by one goal. The Allies, 2-0-1, currently sitting in first place, have played a number of games that have been close as well. So tonight, Hockey Night in Pisa should be very exciting between the Allies and the Dragons, coming up in a minute. Want that pro game feel? Looking to bring your game to the next level? Memory to Video Productions offers a stable of videographers and commentators to bring your ball hockey game to even greater heights. Whether it's on foot or on wheels, our broadcasts feature exciting calls and fascinating insight on all teams and players. Whether it's pre-game predictions or post-game wrap-ups, Memory to Video is your place for that professional polish. Watch your games online and relive the glory again and again. And all for a great low price. To find out more about how to get your team immortalized by MVP, contact us today at memorytovideo.com. And here's LJ with it, and Benson with an opportunity as he walks straight in. It's him against Brittany Camacho, and he does it! What a goal! By Kyle Benson! Welcome back to Hockey Night in Pisa, brought to you by Memory to Video Productions and sponsored by JD's Pizzeria Bar and Grill of Southington. The game is just about to get underway. We're having a little late start as the previous game was called early because of a fight. So now we're just getting ready to start. Some of the players are a little late getting onto the floor and we'll see what happens. Julio Alves missed any of the warm up. He just made it out into the goal. No practice shots for him, so we'll see how that impacts the game. And remember, in game one, when these teams met on September 20th, the Allies were down four to nothing. So we'll see if that pregame warm-up is important to Julio's performance tonight. Dragons hoping that he starts off the same way and they just get a different result. Game is underway as the Allies control it down in their offensive end. Mike Kelsey, who's having a great start to this fall season, leading the league in assists and points thus far. Delgado handles it just around the blue line. He bumps it forward for the defense of Wayne Dupree. Knocks down that play, and here come the Dragons. Quick shot and a rip saved by Alves. He was right on that one. Maybe he's considering that as warm-up. Delgado tries to backhand it up the floor, hits the back of the net. And now the ball is bumped up the boards on the far side where Kelsey controls. He dumps it in to get a sub. Taken behind the net by Jeremy Haas. Haas bumps it up to Chris Ike. Ike sends it up the floor. And now we've got 
Little tussle there, wide open. Chris Ike. That was Eric Blazinski pushing it across the floor. And Jeanette Rieger trying to chase it down. Suddenly it's taken over by the Dragons. That place broken up nicely by Blazinski who came down to play it. And now he sends it up the boards, but it's right to a Dragon defender. Good fake, shot in front. Julio Alves takes the rebound and gloves it and will be a stoppage of play. We're 9-0-4 left in period number one. No score yet. Dragons and Allies play to a one-goal game not too long ago. A couple weeks ago, September 20th, they met to kick off the fall season, and it went to a one-goal game. That's Jeremy Haas skating around with it, showing off his skills. Great pass and a goal right away. Chris Syke at the end of a great pass by Jeremy Haas, and at 8.53 to go in period number one, it's one to nothing Dragons. Great play there by Chris, by Chris Ike and Jeremy Haas. Haas got the assist. Ike got the goal. And suddenly it's 1-0 Dragons. Dragons win the faceoff again and push it forward. They're going to put some pressure on Alves again. Great play there. Good effort by the Dragons. Wayne Dupree had a loss in the corner. Allies just clear it down the end. Now it's poked up to the middle. Good defensive play here. Wayne Dupree. Wayne skates around. He's got Dupree in front. Couldn't get a shot there. Just missed. Pokes forward again. Now we've got the Dragons centering. Ooh, that one almost bounced off of Alves and into the goal. Allies off to a sluggish start here. That one goes all the way down to the goal. Mike Kramer on his toes, however, stopped it. It was really more of a clearing pass than a shot on goal. Ball behind the goal. Poked forward by the Allies' defense. And now the Allies sticking around, turning things around and charging up the floor. Allies looking for the game tire. That shot is knocked down in front. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. Be a penalty on the Allies. Dragons trying to set up a little extra shot when they can. They take their goalie out, quickly turned away. And now we've got a stoppage in play. Penalty on the play. Dragons will have a power play. Didn't really get an official call from the referees, but it's up there, 130. Penalty box, extra man, power play for the Dragons. This power play is brought to you by Play It Again Sports. Dragons looking to extend their lead to two to nothing. Let's see what they have. That's Chuck Benedum playing it back there, trying to get things set up. Ball's thrown forward. It's going to be turned over, and here come the Allies. Allies making a great push. Man down, shot, save, and a beauty by Mike Kramer. That could have been a nice shorthanded goal to tie things up for the Allies. Denied by Kramer. Dragons setting up their power play again. That one's deflected up into the rafters. We'll have a stoppage of play. 6.41 to go in the first. One to nothing, Dragons. There's 52 seconds left in this power play brought to you by... Play it again, sports. Little delay in getting the ball ready, but here we have it. Face off in front. Looked to me like Brian Curran taking the face off for the Allies with a different jersey on. Referee gets in the way as the ball is being played along the near side boards. Quick centering pass there and a good shot saved by Alves. Chris Ike already with one goal. Had a nice rip there that Alves stopped. Here come the Allies out of their own end. Punch it up forward. 
Again, I think that's Brian Curran wearing number 66 tonight. Ball gets poked back. Delgado skates up. Delgado's centering pass just off the mark. Tracked down in the corner by the Allies. Allies get a poked away by Chuck Benitam. Great play there. And here come the Dragons. Dragons, nice centering pass. Should probably could have been a shot there. Blazinski made the stop. Benitam gets over to make the play back again for the Dragons down there. end. Now they got a great play there. Players are getting tied up. Blazinski just fell to stop Ike from really getting his stick on the ball. Looked a little awkward, but it's probably a great defensive play. Prevented Ike from getting a shot. That's Mike Kelsey behind the goal. He loves that shot wrapping around the short side. And it was a great save again by Kramer, simply by being in the right spot at the right time. 5.20 to go, period number one. One to nothing lead by the Dragons. Kelsey now in the offensive end on the far side. His centering pass, looking for Curran. Curran's got a quick shot. Again, poked away nicely by Kramer. Kramer looks like he is on his game. Here come the Dragons. They gain the offensive side. Skating over the ball there is Jeremy Haas. Haas, what a skater there. Great play, great move, backhand shot, saved by Alves. Long shot from outside the blue line, saved by Alves. That was Wayne Dupree trying to rip one towards the net. That one's not going to get by Julio tonight. We're about 4.30 to go in period number one. Allies, Kelsey trying to skate around with it. He loses his edge and tips over. Blazinski tracks it down, and it's deflected up into the rafters where we'll have another stoppage of play. 4.26 to go in period number one. Dragons lead it one to nothing. Early goal on a great pass from Jeremy Haas to Chris Ike, who knocked it into the goal. Cole Jarowski just arrived, and they put him on the floor right away. So the Allies players... Again, just showing up for the game. And they're put on the floor because they need the rest. Here we go. Dragons win the face in their defensive end. Poked up nicely by Chuck Benitam. Cleared out by Delgado up the far side wall. That was in Jeanette Rieger trying to poke it forward. It was turned over. Here come the Dragons. This is Wayne Dupree with it. Wayne Dupree sends one forward. Gets all the way through to Julio Alves who covers it up to stop the play with 4.02 to go in period number one. It'll be a face-off to Julio's left. 4.02 to go, one to nothing, Dragons. Slowly arriving there is Blazinski. He takes the face, knocks it backwards, and here we go. Dragons control their offensive end. That was Dupree with a short-sided shot. Goes all the way through the goal mouth off to the other side. Again, great. Oh, another shot and a goal there. That's going to be an unassisted goal this time by Chris Ike. As the Allies had trouble getting out of their end. And suddenly, with 3.47 to go, the Dragons are beginning to pull away. Don't forget game one on September 20th between these two teams. The Dragons jumped out to a 4 to nothing lead. It looks like we might have more of that again today. 3.47 to go in period number one. It's 2 to nothing Dragons. This time, Blazinski wins the face back, and the Allies push it up the far side. Jarowski loses it, and here come the Dragons again. Shot wide. That's that guy Haas, Jeremy Haas. Great speed and stick handling. He's already got a beautiful little assist already tonight. Here come the Dragons. Dragons are just playing a little bit better, controlling the ball better, skating harder, making smarter decisions. They're going to get this back again as well. Here come, that's our goal scorer right there, Chris Ike. A little bump, no penalty there, but they control it in their offensive end again. Skating around behind the goal. The Dragons send it forward, a little off the mark, but they tracked it. And here we go. That's going to be Ike to track it down in the corner. Ike's tracked down there. Well, the Allies defense who loses his stick. Now Jarowski tries to get started, but it's poked away nicely by the Dragons. We're under the three-minute mark, and it's two to nothing Dragons, who really have dominated play here in the first period. Dragons will again get it out of their offensive end pretty easily. 
Gain the offensive quick shot there just wide. Beautiful move again by Haas. Just couldn't get the ball on goal. Haas is met on the far side right at the red line. Flips it back to Benitem. Benitem's shot saved by Alves. Going to have another penalty. Going to have a penalty here. Allies are going to be sent into the boards, into the penalty box once again. A penalty for high sticking. That's going to cost them a minute and a half. And that'll be a chance for us to tell you that this power play is brought to you by Play It Again Sports. The Dragons 0 for 1 on the power play so far tonight, but they've got another minute 30 to try to extend their lead. Dragons on the power play, 2.23 in the period. Face off, won by Brian, by Mike Kelsey, that shot and a goal. Let's see if they count this. The goal did go up a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Wayne Dupree sent it forward, or it was tapped in by the Dragons, and they're going to count it. They're going to count it. That'll be a goal for the Dragons. And they'll extend their lead to three to nothing. Great assist by Wayne Dupree. A power play goal gives the Dragons a three to nothing lead with 2.15 to play. Power play brought to you by Play It Again Sports ends up with a goal for the Dragons, and they've extended their lead. Faceoff puts it back into play. Allies control it in their defensive end, where Delgado sent it up the floor to Kelsey, who rips one wide. Dragons going to push it again. Benitem has it tipped away by Delgado. Does a fancy move in front of the goal. Knocked away before he could get a shot towards the goal. Curran bounces it back to Kelsey. Kelsey with a turn. He's got time and space. Quick shot there. Again, it doesn't make it all the way to the Dragons goalie, Mike Kramer. Dragons now gain the offensive end. Great move there that time by Haas, but he was met by the Allies' defense. Kelsey's getting up with Curran on a two-on-one. Centering pass and a great finish. Great pass by Kelsey. That's why he's leading the league in assists. And that's why we have now a 3-1 to one game. Mike Kelsey with the assist. As we said, he's leading the league in assists. And he made a great pass there to Brian Kern, who knocked it in the nets. Face off now with about 120 to play in the period. There's another rip and a shot. Curran's there on the doorstep trying to knock it in and just missed. Ball was cleared by the Dragons, skating back to get it, Cole Jarowski. And here come the Allies, pushing it up the far side. Jarowski to Curran to Kelsey. Kelsey on the far side, pokes it forward, and it goes up into the net where it's deflected. With just over a minute to play in period one, Dragons lead it 3-1. to one. 103 to go. Dragons started off to a 4 to nothing lead on this September 20th game. Tonight they jumped out to a 3 to nothing lead. Allies just got one back. Nice pass there by the Dragons just off the mark as Chris Ike was pushing the ball forward. Julio Alves covers it up. And so we're just with 57 seconds to play. Long clearing pass there by Jarowski. Kramer had a little trouble handling it. Decided not to cover it up. Curran gets it back. He pokes it forward. Goes to now the far side. Here comes Haas. Let's see if he can get going. Great play by Kelsey. Kelsey knocks him down. Takes the ball away. Curran's rip. This time knocked away by Kramer. Nobody was there for the rebound as the ball snuck away. 30 seconds to go. Period number one. Period again. Dominated by the Dragons. The Allies have shown some life here in the last minute or so. Ball's poked up the far side. Controlled now by Ike. Ike pokes it forward nicely. Where it'll be run down by the Dragons. Kelsey pokes it forward, I think, to Curran. Curran is met by Benitem. And Jeremy Haas skates it down. Final seconds of period number one. Period number one ends with the Dragons with a 3-1 to one lead. Dragons, again, 
started off scoring the first three goals of the game. Remember, Julio Alves was a little late coming into this game, didn't get any warm-up, and maybe that's why the Dragons came out a little more fired up, peppering him with shots and scoring three times before the Allies really got their skates underneath them. Chris Ike finished off a great pass by Jeremy Haas to get the Dragons started. He then made a nice steal and a rip to give them a two-goal lead, and then a power play goal gave the Dragons a 3 to nothing lead before the Allies finally got going when Curran finished a great two-on-one pass from Mike Kelsey. Period number two about to start. Dragons in the lead, 3-1. to one. Period number two about to get underway. The so teams again are just sort of getting started. We had a little strange night. The period started with the Dragons dominating the game. Three to nothing. Great start for the Dragons. The Allies just didn't seem to get started. The previous game ended early. There was a fight. They canceled the game. Period two underway, ball's in play for a second before we have another stoppage as the ball went up into the rafters. Literally no time went off the clock. Period number one, Dragons 14 shots on goal. Allies had 13 shots on goal. Here we go, we're gonna restart period number two. Face off, looked like there was one by Chris Ike who pushed it down towards his offensive end, but the Allies track it down. Anjanette Rieger pokes it down into the Allies' offensive end. But Jeremy Haas gets there first, skates it up the far side. He pokes it up the boards to Chuck Benedum. Benedum across the floor to Wayne Dupree. Dupree pokes it up forward, looking for Haas. No such luck. blazinski has got it now for the Allies. Stolen there, great play. Ike coming in for good. Oh, that would have been a, would have been a hat trick for Chris Ike. Great save by Alas, and it poked, rebounded up into the rafters. It was a nice play by Ike, stole the ball from Blazinski, went in one on no with Julio Alves. Alves up to the task, poked the save up into the boards. Face off there again. Anjanette Rieger just sends it down the floor. She'll trail Haas as he Skates to get it. Haas with a great centering pass, looking for Ike in front of the goal. Went all the way through. Alves knocked it away. Delgado's now got it. Getting jammed into the boards. And here come the Allies on a little bit of a break. Shot and a save by Kramer. Great play there. Eric Blazinski had a nice shot there, but Mike Kramer up to the task. Shots on goal in the first period, 14 for the Dragons, 13 for the Allies. Although it certainly seemed like the Dragons dominated play. That ball gets all the way through. Haas has got it. He skates back comfortably. He sends it forward. Goes all the way to Alves where Ike's there to play a rebound. Shot in front, save, just wide. Dragons again, kind of catching the Allies sleepwalking through the beginning of this period. Ike is playing great. He gets taken down by Blazinski. No call by the ref as he felt it was incidental conduct. Shot on goal there by Delgado. Great save by Kramer. Delgado kind of snuck his way in there. Very nonchalant wrist shot. Ripped it to the right side of Mike Kramer who made a nice save. This time the faceoff will be just to the right side of Kramer. We're 9-0-3. Left in the second period. Dragons still lead 3-1. to one. The Allies are hanging around, although they really haven't started to play just yet. 
Curran tried to play that one off the boards into the net, but didn't get it. Here come the Allies. Oh, Jeremy Haas pushing it up for the Dragons. He tries to gain the middle, but a great play there by Cole Jarowski. Here comes Cole. Cole throws it forward across the lane. Nice shot there. Just missed the mark. That was Mike Kelsey who took the ripper there for the Allies. Ball gets tracked down by Chuck Benedum. Chuck takes it behind his own goal, trying to set things up. Throws it off to the far side, where now Haas, trying to get a running start, doesn't quite get there. Jarowski sends it forward now, as it'll be behind, behind the goal, where Kern will play it. Kern and Kelsey together on the offensive side form a formidable duo for the Allies. Jarowski's ripper from way out was missed. Great steal there as Kelsey put on some pressure and Kern was open in front of the goal, but Mike Kramer was up to the task. Here comes Haas. Haas on the far side. Tries to gain the middle, just missed. And now here comes a little mix up there in the middle, controlled by the Allies. Kern on the far side. Save by Kramer. Dragons taking their time as Haas probably needs a little break. Here comes Cole Jarowski. Cole Jarowski, great pass across the floor. Back to Jarowski, a little give and go, and it goes in. Kelsey to Jarowski, and suddenly we have a game again. Kelsey assist number two. Cole Jarowski, his first goal of the game. And with 7.29 left in period number one, it's now 3-2 to two Dragons over the Allies. Here come the Allies again. They fell down 4 to nothing on September 20th. They fell down 3 to nothing tonight. And before you know it, it's a game again. Three to two, Dragons with 7.25 and running here in the second period. Great give and go from Jarowski to Kelsey. Ripper by Haas, saved by Alves. What a great shot there. Haas looks like a great player for the Dragons. Here comes Joey Delgado pushing it up. Brian Curran's shot. That's a great save there by Mike Kramer. So suddenly the Allies are starting to put things together and get some great shots here. Faceoff will be just to the right of Kramer. 6.54 left in period number two. The Allies just starting to wake up a little bit. They've cut into the lead. They've scored the last two goals, and now it's a 3-2 to two game. Shot poked towards the goal there by Wayne Dupree, covered up by Julio Alves, and we'll have a face-off to Julio's left. Interesting start again as the Dragons got off to a great lead, looked like they were in control. Allies just stayed with it and slowly got themselves back into the game. Here come the Allies. Joey Delgado controls the face, sends it up forward. Kelsey's rip just wide. Rebound goes to Curran, who pokes it off the boards. Good defensive play there by Dupree. Kelsey is just all over the floor. Great player. He's got two assists again tonight. Here we go. Dragons control after that miss, but Curran skating back, catches that pass. Kelsey's in front, his shot, knocked down by Haas. Actually stuck his skate out there, and it deflected into the rafters. So we'll have a stoppage of play, 6.14 to go in second period. Face off just to the left of Mike Kramer. Ball is dropped, face off, won by Blazinski. Tried to send it all the way back to Joey Delgado, but it just missed, so Delgado skates it down. A little bit of a missed pass there, and the result almost was a shot for the Dragons, but here come the Allies. Delgado meets the Dragons there in front of the boards. Sends it across now. Here come the Dragons, trying to mount another attack. This is Blazinski trying to skate his up there. Blazinski now up front. He's going against Wayne Dupree. His shot is wide and ricochets back behind the boards. Haas has got a running start here. Gains the blue line, short-sided shot, saved by Julio Alves. 
Just a great play there by Alves. As Haas, again, showing some of his athletic ability, his speed. He's got a nice little wrist shot. Get ready, Allies. One of those shots from Haas is going to find the back of the net. Allies controlling. Ball centered towards the goal, and Mike Kramer covers up. And we'll have a face-off to Kramer's left. 5-11 left in period number two. It's 3-2 to two Dragons. Surprised that it's a one-goal game? Probably shouldn't be, as all three of the Dragons games have been one goal. Face-off this time, won by Chris Ike. Haas sends it all the way around the boards. And it just missed the mark, so the Allies have a chance, but a great poke. Poke check by the Dragons, and now they're going to be bringing it up. Here comes Jarowski. Jarowski's got a rip. He could shoot it here. Shot there is deflected by Benito. The rebound came right back to Jarowski, and Kramer got a piece of that. So mark that down as a save. Pushing it up the far side is Ike. Now the Dragons have it in front. Poke forward. Alves playing around with it there for a little while and finally covered it up. Julio Alves stops the ball from being in play. So with 4.35 to go in period number two, three to two Dragons. Face off to Alves' left side. Ball is dropped and we're back in and that was a quick shot up by Ike. Ike's going to get it again off the far side. Sends it across the floor. Nice poke check there. Good defense by the Allies. And they're setting it up behind the net. They sent it up, really. And Jeanette Rieger tried to poke it forward. Jeremy Haas got in the way. Great hustle by Blazinski. Blazinski now for the Allies behind the goal. Nice little easy check by the Dragons. Fantastic defensive play. Great quick shot again by Ike. Alves makes the save. And he covers up. Probably had a chance there to keep it in play. But Alves stopped it, covered it up, and now we'll have a face-off. 3.57 to go in period number two. Here we go. Now we're back in play. Face-off there, won by Curran. Curran sends it back to Jarowski, who chucks it forward all the way down the floor. But Edom gets it. He's met by Kelsey, but the Dragons will control. Curran now putting a little pressure on. The typical forward checking that we see from the Allies, not really present yet tonight. Haas brings it up. That time he tried to get a shot off, never got all the way to the goal. Nice play here. Here comes Kelsey. He's in front. Great pass from Kelsey back to Curran, and we're all tied up. Mike Kelsey... His third assist of the game. Do you want to know why he leads the league in assists? Well, there it is right there. Great eyes, great stick handling, nice soft pass right back to Brian Curran, who one times it into the back of the net. So with just 3.23 to play here in period number two, the Allies have come all the way back and have now scored three times to tie this up at 3-3. Three to three. Dragons now will have to know what's going on here. Haas is now skinning it up on the far side. He takes a long shot, puts a little bit of a burner on goal, but Alves is there to make the stop. Jarowski trying to send it forward. He sends that into the rafters. We have a stoppage of play. 3.02 to go in period number two. It's all tied up between the Dragons and the Allies. Face-off won by the Allies. Push backwards. Haas skating around again. Great steal by Curran, but Haas gets it back. Haas throws it back to Benitem. Benitem skates up from his defender's spot. His shot. Rebound in front. Great save by Alves. And Delgado took down the Dragons player in front. No call. And the Allies cleared. 
Jarowski's got it way back in the defensive end. Across the boards to Kelsey, just over skates it. Haas is ripped, knocked down. And let's see what's going on here. Kelsey skates it down. Nice little back pass. Delgado, he'll get a chance to rip this one. Knocked down in front. Kelsey's going to chase it down in the near corner. Kelsey against Benita. Kelsey gains the middle of the floor. Great pass to Curran, just off the mark. Here comes Jarowski. Jarowski's long pass inside. Chased down by Curran. Curran sends it behind the net to Kelsey, who just tried a little back pass without really looking, and nobody was there. Here comes Wayne Desprez. Cole Jarowski now in front. He's getting, cr yeah, we're going to get a penalty here. Definitely was. As Wayne Dupree was skating down, he hooks Cole Jarowski, and the result will be a power play for the Allies. It'll be a power play brought to you by Play It Again Sports. 148 to go in period number two. 130 on the power play. Allies looking to take the lead in this game that's 3-3 three to three right now. Jarowski made a good push. Dupree had nothing to do but hook him. And the result is a power play brought to you by Play It Again Sports. Ball is dropped. Ike in the middle there with Blazinski. Curran will chase it down. He sends it across to Jarowski. He can rip it from here. Instead, he makes a great pass to Curran. Curran move in front. Knocked down by the Dragons. And they just clear it. Alves catches it and drops it back in play. Just under 130 to go on period number two. Joey Delgado skating it up, looking to his left. Blazinski tried to one-time it, just missed. Played back behind where he's met by Haas. Ball deflects to the far side where Delgado's got it. Delgado's centering pass. Almost knocked in by Blazinski. Curran's got it behind the net. His little flip in front. Great play there. Blazinski probably going to be called with a high stick as Curran sent it up over the goal, tried to knock it in. And it's going to be a stoppage of play. Blazinski not really happy with the call. Faceoff will be all the way down the other end of the floor. 102 to go in period number two. 44 seconds left in the power play. Brought to you by Play It Again Sports. Now the faceoff will be just to the right of Julio Alves. Ball is put in play. Faceoff pushed forward by Ike. He stumbled, got the shot off, but not on goal. Kelsey throws it back to Delgado. Delgado to Jarowski. Jarowski now sends it forward to Kelsey. Kelsey spins to the corner. Knocked away nicely, but he gets it back. Kelsey throws it forward. Jarowski tries to one-time it. It was knocked down by Ike. Jarowski sends it across the floor to Delgado. 15 seconds left in the power play. Brought to you by Play It Again Sports. Not much of an effort here by the Allies. Trying to get some good shots, but again, great defense there. Haas with some room. He's taken down by Blazinski. And the result is going to be now a power play for the Dragons. Score is 3-3. Three to three. There's 20 seconds left to play. The teams will be at even strength for just two seconds. And then the Dragons will be on a power play for a minute 30. Obviously, most of that power play will carry over into period number three. Right now, the team's at even strength. 20 seconds left to go in period number two. Ball is dropped. Won by the Dragons. They send it forward. Delgado gets it. We're now officially on a power play. Ten seconds left in the period, and this power play is brought to you by Play It Again Sports. Haas skating towards the goal, just lost it. Period's about to end now. And there we go. Period number two ends with two goals by the Allies, one by Cole Jarowski, one by Brian Curran. So at the end of two, we're tied three to three. Period number three will start with the Dragons on a power play. They'll have about one minute and ten seconds to try to take advantage of the power play brought to you by Play It Against Sports to try to take the lead. Period number three should be just as exciting as the first two have been. So we'll see what happens. These teams play to a 9-8 game on September 20th. 
The Dragons have played nothing but one goal game so far this year. This one looks like it's going to go right down to the wire again. End of period number two, the Dragons three, the Allies three. Period number two, the Allies bringing most of the action. They got off 13 shots, two goals. The Dragons, 10 shots, no goals. So we'll see what happens here in period number three. The Allies have now taken the lead on shots on goal with 26. The Dragons only have 24. Period number three about to get underway. Remember, the Dragons are starting on the power play. 111 actually on the power play. And the ball is dropped and we're in play. Controlled by the Dragons. They send it up the floor to Wayne Dupree. Dupree has a little trouble controlling it. He chucks it back. But need him in front. Pokes it forward to Alves. Rebound went out a little further than he'd like. And that's why the Dragons have it again. Dragons send it forward. There we go. Ball's on the right side. Controlled by Jeremy Haas. Haas, another short-sided shot. Poked away nicely by Alves. Great save there by Alves as Benitem had a rip off the rebound. And Julio Alves makes a great save and covers up. Just 32 seconds into period number three, the Dragons had a great opportunity to score. Face-off will be just to the left of Julio Alves. 39 seconds left in the power play. Shot deflected up into the net. Another stoppage of play. We've had quite a few stoppages tonight. 10.25 left in the third. We've got a tie game. Dragons, 36 seconds left on their power play brought to you by Play It Against Sam. Ball is poked forward where Julio Alves is there and ready. Sent all the way down the end of the floor. Haas steals it right off the stick of Brian Curran. Again, he's got a lot of speed. Got a lot of stick skills. Great centering pass there. Poked away by Julio Alves. Now Jarowski gets to show a little speed. Nice backhanded pass to Curran. A great save by Mike Kramer. We're seeing two goalies playing very well here tonight. Power play is about to run out. And Blazinski comes back onto the floor. Benedum's long shot again. Alves was already sprawled out and kicked it away. Rebound goes. Great play there by Jarowski. Two on one for the Allies. Shot on goal. Save. And covered up by Kramer. Jarowski went in on the goal. Made a nice little back pass. Curran had the shot. Kramer up to the task. Made the great save. And we'll have a faceoff to his left. 9.33 to go. Both teams have had great opportunities to take the lead here in the early going of period three. Ball is dropped and we're in play. Blazinski won it. Anjanette Rieger took a quick shot. Gloved by Kramer, and he holds on. Nine thirty to go, period number three. Face off one back this time by Blazinski. Jarowski turns and wheels, sends it in front. But Needham knocks it away as Anjanette Rieger is down there for the Allies. Benedum takes his time, goes behind the goal, sends it up forward on the far side. Here come the Dragons. Nice steal there by Blazinski. He might get an opportunity here, a little out wide. Sends it towards the goal where Kramer knocks it down. Rebound controlled by Haas. Haas around the boards. Dragons bringing up in front of their bench. Little back pass just off the mark. Benedum will have to skate back to get it in control behind the goal. We're under nine minutes. We're in a tie game. Benedum's got a little bit of a rocket. Let's see if he pulls one off. Sends it forward where it just goes wide. Great play there. Centering pass. Jarowski's there for the Allies to make the defensive play. Jarowski on a two-on-one. Centers it across to Rieger. Rieger couldn't get a stick on it to get a shot. Sure, back pass to Jarowski. Goes through. Here come the Allies now pushing it forward. 
looking to make a play behind the goal, but Jeremy Haas is there to end any threat. He's now getting tied up in the far corner. Haas will get it back again, not quite out. Bumps it in front where Benitem now will take it for the Dragons. He skates up the far side. Nice pass across the floor, just a little too hot. Now we got it in the corner underneath the boards. Dragons. Here we go. Ball's poked out in front where Julio Alves gloves it and we'll have a stoppage of play. 7.53 to go in period number three. The score is tied at three. And we'll see what happens. Referee is bringing the ball. They're going to get a new ball. So they changed the balls. The transfer didn't work as well as they would hope. But we'll have a face-off just to the right of goalie Julio Alves. We're in period number three. Ball's in play now. Sent down all the way to the end of the floor. And that's where Jeremy Haas will track it down. Haas has it behind his goal, skating comfortably. He sends it up the far side now. Dumped into the Allies' end. Seem to be content to play a little dump and run these days. Brian Curran has it on the left side. Curran skating around. Nice defensive play there. Guess who that is? Yep, that's Chris Ike. Had a pretty good game so far today. Ball is still in play. Curran will get it behind the Allies goal. He bumps it up forward to Mike Kelsey. Mike Kelsey now getting going. Kelsey in front of the benches. Kelsey gains the offensive end. Centering pass to Curran just off the mark. Ike skates it down on the far side. Not skating quite as quickly as he did in the first period. In fact, it looks like he may have taken a shot. It's going to get him off the floor. But he stays in. Curran skating towards the goal. He gets in on Kramer and he scores. Great opportunity there, an unassisted goal by Brian Curran. That is his third goal of the game. That will give him the hat trick. Great day for Brian Curran. An unassisted goal going all the way in on Mike Kramer, put it through the five hole, and now the Allies have a four to three lead. Ball is dropped in play. Dragons control the face, but Curran Makes a good steal. Kelsey's shot on goal. Poked away by Kramer. Now we've got 6.30 to play in period number three. The Allies have come all the way back and have a 4-3 to three lead. Ball sent forward. Dragons trying to get things started. They scored three goals early. They haven't been able to mount much since. So we'll find out if they can manage to regroup and put something on goal here. Julio Alves started off slowly. We mentioned he didn't get many warm-up shots. In fact, he didn't get any. And the Dragons made him pay, scoring three early goals. Since then, Julio Alves has been up to the task. No goals in period number two or the first half of period number three. Dragons still putting the pressure on, however. Let's see what they got here. Benitem gains the blue line. Couldn't get a shot on. Kelsey tracks it down. Kelsey sends it forward. Great pass there. Just off the mark as they couldn't control it. And now the Dragons have it behind their own goal. Wayne Dupree sends it across the floor. It's going to be Benitem now. Benitem's got a nice quick shot. Oh, he sends it off and it got deflected by Delgado's stick just behind the goal. Curran trying to make a move on the near side boards. And he gets the ball up towards the offensive end. But Dupree slowed him down just enough. Here comes Ike now on a little bit of a breakaway as Jarowski was late coming off the bench on a late substitution. Now it's Blazinski and Curran playing the ball on the far side. Curran's got it behind the goal. Looks in front, takes his time, sends it back to Delgado. Allies now with the lead. Curran's taking a sub. Needs a little break. Anjanette Rieger jumps on the floor. She immediately goes out there to challenge the ball. That's pushed forward into the Dragons' offensive end. That's Chris Ike fighting away with Jarowski, battling for position, sent out to Benitem. His shot, nice little sinker, goes right into the glove of Julio Alves. So with 4.30 to go, we have a stoppage of play as Julio Alves caught it with the glove and held on. 
We'll have a face-off to the left of Julio with the Allies leading now 4-3. to three. Blazinski's in place and ready for the face-off. Here comes the Dragons, his counterpart. Ball is dropped. One back to Delgado. Bounce back forward to Blazinski. Great move there around Benitem. But Jeremy Haas tracks it down for the Dragons. Haas up the far side to Wayne Dupree. Dupree back to Benitem. Benitem pokes it forward. Kicked away nicely by Julio Alves. Jarowski's got it behind the boards. Ball got caught up a little bit in the net. Delgado sends it back to Jarowski. And now Delgado up the far side, off the pass from Jarowski. Four minutes to go in the game. Shot by Delgado, deflected up into the rafters. Stoppage of play with 3.58 to go. Face off in the Dragons' defensive end just to the left of goaltender Mike Kramer. Ball is dropped, won again by Blazinski. Jarowski's shot goes behind the goal where it's going to be tracked down by Jeremy Haas. Jeremy Haas skating around with it. We've seen the talented skater and sick handler pretty much on the defensive end most of the night. Two on one here. Centering pass deflected in front. Would have been a great opportunity there. Wayne Dupree was set up in front. Couldn't quite get the shot on goal. Now the ball gets sent back to Mike Benitem. Now poked all the way down the end. But Jarowski is there for the Allies. He's got time to turn. Sends it up the far side to Delgado. Delgado up the bench side to Blazinski. Blazinski pokes it forward. Kramer had to get the flipper up to make the save. Benitem having a little trouble getting it to Dupree, but they've got it. Jeremy Haas now up on the offensive side. Couldn't quite get going there. Now Jarowski's got it on the offensive end. His quick shot saved nicely by Jarowski and poked away to the corner. Here come the Dragons. A little more up and end action now. A little more up and down. Haas looks like the most talented player on the floor right now. His quick wrist shot controlled by Julio Alves. So we'll have another stoppage. 2.46 to play in the period number three. Allies clinging to a one goal lead. This could be a brutal way for the Dragons to start their season. They'll be one and three possibly after just four games. Three of those games, however, losses to the team in first place, the Allies possibly twice, and that other loss to a great hockey soda squad that has a habit of winning championships. Timeout on the floor taken by the Dragons, a short 30-second timeout. Trying to regroup and catch their breath. Looks like they made a move of putting Haas up on the offensive end to try to use his skills to tie this up. 2.46 to go in the game. Allies ahead, 4-3. to three. Just over two minutes to go in this game. And as expected, it's a tight one all the way through. Dragons on game one jumped out to a 4 nothing lead. Tonight, they jump out to a 3 nothing lead, only to see the Allies come back and take the lead on them again. 4-3 to three Allies, 2.46 to go. Face-off to the left of Julio Alves. Dragons are taking their time getting back on the floor. Centers are ready. Curran will take it for the Allies. He wins it forward and pokes it out of the off defensive end. Curran now gains the offense, two-on-one with Kelsey. Curran now skates in front. His shot in front, big collision in front. We're going to get a penalty on Kelsey, who definitely collided with Kramer. Couldn't really see where the ball went off the shot. But this is going to be a big penalty here. 2.29 to go in the game. It's going to be a goalie interference penalty on Mike Kelsey. I think he just lost track of where he was and skated all the way into Mike Kramer, and he tipped over the goalie. The arms went up, penalty. So we're going to have another power play brought to you by Play It Against Sports, the Dragons' third chance on the power play this evening. 2.25 to go in the game. The Allies in the box for a minute 30. Curran out front trying to play a little defense for the Allies, but the Dragons... Poking it around nice in front. Curran gets a nice poke check there. Allies defense chasing out to get it. Hassling Wayne Dupree. Curran tracks it down. 
and sends it all the way down the floor. Kramer makes the stop. Dragons now regrouping. We're under two minutes in the game, under a minute in the power play. Quick shot in there, knocked down actually by the Allies. Curran now skating it forward. Doesn't even have to really take a shot on goal. Pushes it to the far corner, and he'll just play around with the ball over there. What a great shot by Curran. Quick turn and a fire, and he put it off the back pipe and in. No way Mike Kramer could have expected it or made that save. Curran, great effort. Looked like he was just going to stall and be happy, just kind of playing around with the puck. Sure enough, Curran turns and fires, wraps it through the back pipe and in the goal. Uh, Brian Curran, how about a four-goal night for you? Not too bad there. Great day for Brian Curran and a huge goal there. Five to three now, allies. 128 to play. It's going to be Curran again in a breakaway. Could we have goal number five? Curran, nice move, shot and a score. Brian Curran, goal number five. Suddenly it's now six to three allies, and this one is all over. Allies were fell behind three to nothing in game one. They exploded for nine goals to win it nine to eight. Today, they spotted the Dragons three goals, then they scored the next six, and now it's a 6-3 to three game with 1.15 and running left in the game. Ripper there by Benitem, saved by Alves. Got to be a frustrating start. Benitem now off a great play, knocks one in. But it's going to be a little bit too little too late. 6-4 to four now. Allies in the lead. Just an absolutely outstanding effort by Brian Curran, scoring two quick goals to extend the lead to 6-3. to three. Dragons, not ready to quit, come back and score a quick one. Chuck Benitem putting that one in the back of the goal. Now we put it in play. We're at the one-minute mark right now. One minute to play in this hockey game brought to you by Memory to Video Productions. Hockey Night at Pisa has been all that it's expected to be tonight as the Dragons and the Allies engaged in a great game. We're now at 45 seconds. Just a two-goal lead for the Allies. Haas skating around with it, stolen away by Blazinski. He's now on a one on nothing. Blazinski, backhanded move, shot, sends it behind the goal. Anginette Rieger tracks it down. Haas steals it. We're under 30 seconds. Haas with a ripper. Off the pipe! Nobody saw that, as, as that was a rip by Haas. Cleared nicely by the Allies. 15 seconds to go now as Kramer leaves it for Haas. He might make one more run, but we're at 10 seconds to go in the game. This game is just about over now. Benitem with five, four, three, two, one. Nope, we're going to stop out with, and we end the game there. As Julio Alves had it covered up with three seconds left, but they let the clock run out as they knew there was not going to be any time for them to really get things moving. So that's it. The Allies win again 6-4. to four. That moves their record up to 3-0-1. They will hold on to first place, at least through another round. The Dragons fall to 1-3. They've lost two games by a goal, a third game by two. So there you have it. Hockey Night at Pisa. Brought to you by Memory to Video Productions and sponsored by JD's Pizzeria Bar and Grill in Southington. They make great pizza and they have the largest television in the Southington area. The Allies and the Dragons played another great game. This is the second time they've met in just four, four rounds of this fall season. And once again, the Dragons jumped out to a big lead. Three to nothing in just a few minutes. And then before you knew it, the Allies found themselves in a deep hole, but they came back scoring six in a row to take a 6-3 to three lead. And then finally the Dragons poked on another one to make the final score 6-4. to four. So that'll end it for tonight. Hockey Night at Pisa, brought to you by Memory to Video Productions and sponsored by JD's Pizzeria Bar and Grill. The next broadcast will be a week from tomorrow, Saturday night at 7 o'clock, October 18th right back here at Pisa. Have a great night.